Hi, um, this is just a continuation in a way of um, a series of um, videos I've been recording recently about appreciation, appreciating life whilst there's still time. Because um, it strikes me that we don't really appreciate it most of the time because we're usually lucky that, you know, we, we're comforted enough by life that even though we think that our life isn't perfect, that um, lots of things are actually going our way and we forget that we are nourished, we are sustained, we are still breathing, we're still here, um, there's still stuff that's kind of happening. And I remember um, many years ago um, speaking to a lady, this is years and years and years ago, um, an American lady, lovely lady, and um, she'd often be um, mildly depressed. And one day, all of a sudden, after complaining about this and that and being down about this and that, she turned around to me and she said, you know what? Maybe if I lived in another part of the world or if my life was kind of different and I was just so busy just surviving that then I wouldn't be um, complaining so much about life. Maybe I'd be appreciating life, life more. And that's so true. And I think that most of us find ourselves in that um, particular position. So, um, you know, we are often very gifted to be where it is that we are. But what I wanted to talk about today is about um, this theme about appreciating life, but, um, but, but just as importantly, once one is, has that gratitude and appreciation for life, to sing one's song. And this phrase about singing your song um, has been with me for some time now. It just so happens that I used to be um, a, a singer and still do sing for, for fun. But um, this phrase about singing your song, in other words, being who it is that you are and doing what it is that you do and doing what it is that you do in the world is something that's very, very important to me and very, very dear to me. And obviously, as a coach and as a motivational speaker, you know, my work is to help people to encourage them to do that and to be that. Um, but it's just so important that you do your thing because life is, is one whole that has found itself fragmented into many bits. So just in the same way that the world's landmass, that you, if you look at the world's map, you know, it was largely kind of one and it's kind of separated by water and all the rest of it, but it fits like a jigsaw. And so do we as human beings, you know, we're all interrelated, we're all interdependent, we often forget that oneness and so on. But the nature of us all being splintered and expressing life kind of separately is that we all do have different separate skills, talents, and um, gifts, we do different jobs and so on. They're all very important, they're all just different. Just as we are all different, we all sing a different song, we all have a slightly different voice, we have a different hue and so on. But so often in life we get so caught up in the difference that we, we, we forget the magic of that difference. Um, and we spend so much time fighting because of all that difference, which is absolutely absurd because of that oneness that we all know, that we you know prior to all the ideas and the fears and the thoughts and so on that you have about the world and prior to all the language, um, that, there's, that there is no kind of separation between us. You know, prior to all the thoughts and so on that you held about life, there's no separation. So it's just all the thoughts and the ideas that really hold us separate from seeing that magical oneness of life. And then sometimes things come along that help us realise and appreciate life. And very often it's when life comes, bam, I'm knocking at the door. But what I want to talk about here today is the importance of singing your song. Because it will be the case that you will have your own particular song. It might well be that you're brilliant with kids. It might well be that you're brilliant with technology. It might well be that you are really brilliant at kind of helping people, that you really um, are a really caring person and that you can go into that caring profession. It might well be that you've really got a good mind for, for, for figures and for sorting things out. Maybe you're an accountancy, maybe you're a mathematician, maybe you're a teacher. Maybe it is you're good at teaching people and so on. Maybe that's your particular field. We all have these different skills. Mine happens to be that I happen to be a, a coach and a, and a speaker. Um, uh, and, and, and yours may well be that, you know what, you are just absolutely brilliant at making things. You are a skilled craftsperson. Whatever it is, it's really important that we're doing what it is that we do in the world and singing our song. You know, that's the invitation of life. And the funny thing about life is that the only way that you get the things that you really want is by doing what it is that you actually are. That's the only way to get the fulfillment that you really, really seek by just being who it is that you authentically are. And for some reason, very often in life, we feel as though we need to somehow be something other than what we actually are. But it's only when you're actually able to embrace who it is that you actually are that you're actually able to do what it is that you naturally do naturally. And so, you know, what was interesting in my past, I happened to be pursuing singing. And um, <laughs> even this thought, pursuing is quite funny. When you really find what your real song is, it's not something that you pursue. It's something that you just do because pursuing is putting a gap between you and the thing that you're doing. But when you just do what it is that you do, you embody what it is that you do. And sometimes it will be in the case in life that we do, you know, we, we, we do a few different things. And very often what we find is the thing that really has got our name on it is where all those different um, themes between the different jobs that we've done that we really are passionate about. 
that's where our ideal craft is. So if you're at a point whereby you're thinking about, well, actually, I've done this and I've done that, Rashid, and I'm actually not quite sure, look at what are the different ingredients? Where, what are the ingredients that is that you're passionate about? Maybe there's an element of this, an element of that, an element of that. What would it be that brings all those things together? What is it that you've always done? What is it that you've always been about? That's what it is that you do. That is your song. Sing your song. Enjoy it. <laughs> um, that's all. Take care.